dear happiness to women. Else would they have been troubled with a pernicious suitor. I th Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Novel Idea and my name is Dia. And today I have a Shakespeare journey tag. So um, Kelly tagged me in this quite a while ago and I just wanted to wait until I had completed the play that I chose to read this year. And I didn't do all three because I had read the other two, but I had never read Antony and Cleopatra. So I wanted to do that one. And um, I really enjoyed it. I don't think I am as big of a fan of the tragedies and histories as I am of the comedies of Shakespeare. My favorite one is still Twelfth Night. This is actually the only Shakespeare I own. And um, I love this play and I reread it on a regular basis and I watch it whenever I get the chance. But um, yeah, so Mark Antony and, and Cleopatra is actually based heavily on Plato from, I'm, I'm sorry, not Plato, Plutarch from Plutarch's lives. And his kind of history of them is what Shakespeare used in order to write his play. And I love Plutarch's lives. He's often a little tongue in cheek with the lives that he is telling. And of course, it's his history of those people because everybody's biased when they're telling a history. So anyway, this one is actually very similar to Romeo and Juliet, similar in tone and, and the way that things play out. I, I don't know if I would have appreciated it when I was younger, but it was something that I enjoyed reading at this age. So let's get into the tag. What was your first experience reading Shakespeare and what was it like? So I think like most people, my first experience was actually in junior high school and uh, in my honors English class that I was taking. And I think I was in eighth grade, so that would have been about, what, 15, uh, 14, 15, something like that. And I was completely lost <laughs> when I was reading Shakespeare for the first time. I had never seen any Shakespeare performed. I had never heard it at that point in my life and it was it was hard. So when I was doing that and I knew that it was something that we were going to be doing in class all week long, I actually went to my grandparents who I was living with at the time and said um, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And they very graciously bought tickets to go see Twelfth Night, to go, which is probably why I love it so much, because it's the first one that I ever saw performed. And when I heard kind of the cadence and could watch it on page, as well as see it, I kind of, it, there's something that clicked with me. And so then I really liked it. And then I wanted to read more than just the little bits that we were reading in class because we were going through several different plays and we were just reading portions of them. We weren't reading the whole play. And uh, which is probably good at 14, <laughs> 15 that was my first experience. Has the reading of, of a Shakespeare play ever brought you to tears? And what scene was it and where were you when it happened? So no, 
unless you include just tears of frustration. Um, no, I, I have never cried at a Shakespeare play and I have never cried reading a Shakespeare play. Number three is, are there any people that have played significant role in your Shakespeare journey? So besides my grandparents buying me tickets, one of my very good friends who wanted to be a stage actress. And so she literally would run lines, let me run lines with her basically. And I got to kind of say, oh, that's really not working. And oh, I would, I would put the emphasis here and not there. And don't forget that it needs to sound like, you know, you're angry or it needs to sound like you don't really care. But that's the only thing that I can think of. Number four is, do you have a favorite book or film about Shakespeare, about Shakespeare? Mmm. No. <laughs> um, I'm not much of a film person. And I don't, I mean, I think I've seen Shakespeare in Love. And I saw one that was about his wife. There was a Doctor Who episode about Shakespeare. I really liked that one. <laughs> That's about, that's about all I can think of. But number five, which character in Shakespeare most resembles you and in what way? Hmm, maybe, maybe Beatrice from um, Much Ado About Nothing. I think that I am headstrong, kind of, know my own mind, um, set in my ways in some things, and I love family really intensely. I love being home, love being a part of my family, and I love to read. I'll say Beatrice. Which play would you most like to see performed in a theater and why? Um, well, I would love to see Twelfth Night again, but I think the one that I would love to see most in a theater would be A Midsummer Night's Dream. Because I've never seen it performed other than like movies and or on-screen productions on the stage. I think that it would be really fun to experience it the way that Shakespeare meant it to be experienced. Um, he obviously had a lot of fun with that play. I would just like to see it performed live for the just the sheer enjoyment of the audience, I think. So question seven is, what actor throughout history would you most like to have seen play Hamlet while in his prime? Um, I think I would have loved to have seen Daniel Day-Lewis um, play Hamlet. I think I would have loved to have seen Viggo Mortensen play Hamlet. I think he would have done really well. Who's the the lead in North and South? Richard Armitage. Richard Armitage would be interesting as Hamlet, I think. So those are the, I guess maybe those would be ones that I would be, I, I think would make excellent Hamlets and I think would be really interesting to have seen at that age on stage playing Hamlet. I think it would have been good. Number eight, deliver your favorite speech or soliloquy from Shakespeare. I didn't, I didn't actually bring it in so I'll 
try to put that at the end of this. Do any of Shakespeare's plays intimidate you? And if yes, why? I can't honestly think of one that intimidates me because um, I'm not an actor. <laughs> so just to read one, that doesn't intimidate me. Go and watch one. I don't think there's one that intimidates me. I don't really enjoy battle and war and that kind of thing. So anything that was a big battle production, I probably wouldn't be that interested in seeing. But I, I don't think that there's anything otherwise that would intimidate me just to read or to watch. The next question is, what tips would you give to intimidated readers coming to Shakespeare for the first time? I think I'm probably gonna be pretty typical here and not uh, give you anything new. I would say that Shakespeare meant for these to be plays. And so if you are having a difficult time with reading Shakespeare, find an audiobook or go watch a performance or find a performance from the National Theater and watch a play and read it while you watch it a second time uh, or listen to it because it's oftentimes that you really need to get that cadence and rhythm and flow before you really understand what it is he's trying to say. Um, so I would, I would say that those are the two things that I would encourage people to do. And which is your favorite play and why? I already told you, it is definitely Twelfth Night. It has so much to it. It deals with so many issues and it plays with so many feelings and emotion. My favorite character in here is the fool, probably because of the fact it made me understand who Shakespeare was and what he was about. And so I'm going to go with that. And then it says to tag other booktubers. We are almost to the end of Shake Timber and I don't know who to tag, but if you took part in Shake Timber, and you have not done this tag yet, go ahead and do this tag. So that's everything that I have for you today. And I will leave a, probably just a voiceover of a soliloquy. I'm not much of a, I don't perform <laughs> to camera. So I will probably leave a voiceover of a soliloquy at the end or at the beginning maybe I don't know which but thanks for joining me today everyone like if you liked it subscribe if you want to and I will see you in the next video bye dear happiness to women else would they have been troubled with a pernicious suitor I thank God in my cold blood I am of your humor for that I'd rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me